Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncreate the Liat 3.5 Moto Helmet. The reason we like Liat is because they are smart folks. It was actually founded by a doctor out of South Africa and it, they started with just neck braces. Uh, apparently he saw a friend of his son uh, go down and get a, a severe spinal injury and decided he was gonna make uh, a neck brace to prevent that. Um, from there, they now are offering a full suite of moto, moto products and mountain bike products. Liat does not get into a, a product category unless they think they can really innovate and bring something to the market. And uh, furthermore, they actually show their work in a, you know, an age where you know, lawyers scare one off from actually publishing safety data or you know, results on their, their products and helmets especially. Uh, you just don't see that. But Liat will actually show their work. If you go to the Liat's website, you can see their testing. You know, they'll provide all sorts of data on, on how their products protect you and how they perform over what's already in the marketplace. With that said, this is the 3.5 entry level helmet from Liat. This is their their um, their starter helmet, I guess you could say. So this is priced accordingly. It's sub $200, I think, at the moment. It's going for around 160. The juniors are a few dollars less. The the use sizes that is. This is a polycarbonate shell, like most helmets in this price range, uh, as opposed to a composite or, or fiberglass carbon fiber. Polycarbonate means plastic, um, and it is very lightweight. Strangely light actually. Um, polycarbonate helmets are usually a little heavier. They cost less, but they're usually a little heavier when you move up to a composite helmet. You're spending more money, but you're getting less weight. Uh, this is kind of breaking that mold. This comes in, we weighed this medium. They, they publish a 2.8 pound uh, weight on their website. This medium actually weighed in at two pounds, 15 ounces, so a little above that, but still sub three pounds is not something you see from polycarbonate helmets, especially in this price range. This is probably the lightest helmet we've sold or, or reviewed that's under $200 for sure. It's DOT and ECE rated. It's an intermediate oval fit that runs true to size. So go by the, the sizing chart on this. It comes in three shell sizes, which is important so that you're not wearing too much helmet. Another thing you don't usually see in sub $200 helmets. In fact, we're we're gonna tell you why, but we think this is our new favorite helmet under $200. Lots of colorways, so you can find something that uh, that appeals to you. The main problem with Liat helmets, especially at the moment, is finding them in stock. So if you are able to get your hands on one, go ahead and pull the trigger as soon as you can. Let's uh, check out what's in the box. For the 3.5, you're only getting a helmet bag in the box, and the helmet, of course. Um, in the in the higher tier Liat helmets are actually including goggles with them. They sell them as a kit. The goggles come free. It's kind of cool. But on 3.5, you're just getting that bag. And let's start up at the top. So breakaway visor. They accomplish that with plastic screws here that are meant to shear off in case of an accident. Um, that is a thing we're seeing more and more of as opposed to metal screws that don't shear. You want the visor to come off in an accident so it doesn't pull your head in a funny way. So breakaway visor, and we've got about a quarter inch of adjustability here so you can put that where you want it and tighten these screws down. They do include a few extra screws, uh, but not an extra visor. So um, ventilation. When I pull the liner out of this, you're gonna see the, the holes that are actually put through the, the foam, the impact foam or EPS foam inside of this helmet. I've never seen holes this big, uh, both on the intake side and the exhaust side. Uh, these, these windows are holes for the ventilation. I've never seen something to the, quite this extent. So, you know, I haven't ridden in this helmet personally, but I expect it to flow a ton of air because of that. This hole in the back here, um, you know, a lot of times manufacturers will put different vents and holes and then when you look past the shell, there's really, you know, it's, you're butting up into the foam. This is, is really as big as the, uh, the window is on the inside in the impact foam. You can almost get your finger in there and, and touch the backside of your head. So uh, really huge ventilation. Up here in the front, you've got uh, a forehead multi-vent array up on the top and a few more down the brow. And then this, this mouth vent is just bonkers. That whole thing is a cutout. It's the biggest mouth vent we've uh, we've seen on a on a moto helmet that I can remember. So you're gonna flow lots of air through that chin bar. And then I already showed you the the exhaust, and we'll show you that from the inside in a minute. Let's flip this over. 
and check out what we've got underneath. So bottom of this helmet is designed to work with a neck brace. Most moto helmets these days are in Liat being a neck brace manufacturer. Of course, that's going to be important to them. What that means is that the helmet's got a nice flat surface that's made to make uh, proper contact with a neck brace in case of an accident. You're also going to get quick release cheek pads. Another, um, feature that is usually on more premium helmets, but they're including on the 3.5. Removable washable antimicrobial headliner. So you'll be able to service that nice and easy and wash that out, let it air dry in the sink. I like that they used a dark color so that they didn't get funky as you, as you ride them. Typical double D ring closure with a retainer strap so that doesn't flap around in the wind and a pull tab help you get out of the helmet. Let's open this up. Okay, another interesting thing is that a lot of helmets in this price range take the headliner and they, they wrap it around the front of the impact foam and the attachments are always kind of funny and hard to get out. They've actually, instead of that, they've actually covered the foam with this plastic trim piece and kind of like a, a higher, hel higher end helmet does and then the liner is really easy to get out of, out of there. It's just a couple of snaps. Uh, I like that a lot. All right, there's your headliner. Uh, pretty typical stuff there. Okay, you're gonna see something else interesting now that they have that out of the way. Those little blue pucks are their 360 turbine technology. Uh, there's a couple, you know, different different ways to go about this on the market today. You've heard of MIPS maybe, or different manufacturers have proprietary solutions like 6D, or um, there's also Rion from Fly. Uh, Liat uses these, three, these patented 360 turbines that, that are stuck uh, across the impact foam here. And what those do is they uh, absorb angular momentum up to 40% more than a traditional EPS liner. And what they do is when they hit at an angle, they squish down. Producer Nico is gonna cut in a little clip of this so you can see while I'm talking. And they push down and smush and absorb that, that angular momentum so it doesn't get transferred to your brain. We like that a lot. Uh, also, now that we're in here, you can see all those, those holes that are cut through the EPS or part of their molding process. And uh, I've never seen anything quite like that. You're getting just a ton of airflow through this thing. And then these 360 turbines actually push your head away from the EPS a little bit. That's gonna allow that air to flow through the helmet and right against your scalp. You're also gonna be able to see the backside of that mouth vent in here. So you can see this foam, you can see right through there. That's just a giant, giant mouth vent for you. Okay, um, so 3.5 3 from Liat, comes with a one year warranty. Uh, they're actually located here in SoCal, which is kind of the, the motocross mecca. And uh, they're good people, they make excellent products. This might be our favorite helmet, moto helmet under $200 just because of all the safety that's baked into this. If you've been looking at a 6D and you don't wanna spend you know, six, $700, but you want the latest safety technology, the 3.5 is a good place to look. Head over to speedax.com. Remember, always risk-free shopping with us, free exchanges and returns. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.